This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. The group of seven economic powers have agreed to explore imposing a ban on transporting Russian oil that has been sold above a certain price, they said on Tuesday, aiming to hit Russian President Vladimir Putin's war chest. The war in Ukraine and its dramatic economic fallout, in particular soaring food and energy inflation, dominated this year's summit of the group of rich democracies at a castle resort in the Bavarian Alps. An oil price cap would ratchet up existing Western pressure on Russia from sanctions, which German Chancellor Olaf Scholz insisted would stay until Putin accepted failure in Ukraine. Travel and leisure shares propped up U.S. stock index futures after China relaxed some COVID-19 quarantine requirements for international travelers, raising hopes of a revival in global growth. Airlines, cruises, casinos and hotels were among the gainers in pre-market trading after China's slashing of the quarantine time for inbound travelers by half boosted hopes of a big jump in international travel and spending. Shares of Walt Disney Inc. rose 2.5% to top the list of gainers on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, after the company's Shanghai Disney Resort said it would reopen the Disneyland theme park on June 30 after being shut for more than three months. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Oil prices rallied for a third day on Tuesday as major producers Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates looked unlikely to be able to boost output significantly while Western governments agreed to explore ways to cap the price of Russian oil. Brent crude futures climbed by $1.98, or 1.72%, to $117.02 a barrel by 11.53 GMT adding to the previous session's 1.7% gain. U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, crude futures rose $1.65, or 1.5%, to $111.22, extending the previous session's 1.8% advance. Leaders of the G7 group of wealthy nations said they will explore a potential ban on transporting Russian oil that has been sold above a certain price as they seek to step up pressure on Moscow over its invasion of Ukraine. European Union countries struggle to agree on new legislation to help combat climate change on Tuesday, with disagreements over how tough the laws would be and how to help poorer citizens shift away from fossil fuels. Environment ministers from the EU's 27 members met on Tuesday in Luxembourg to negotiate the joint positions on more ambitious laws to reduce planet warming emissions, including reforms to the EU carbon market and a 2035 phase-out of new fossil fuel-powered cars. Nobody's going to leave the room without a bit of pain, EU climate policy chief Franz Timmermans said, adding that he was hopeful the ministers would reach a deal. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. G7 leaders have agreed to push for a ban on imports of Russian gold as part of efforts to tighten the sanctions squeeze on Moscow for its invasion of Ukraine, an EU official said on Tuesday. Britain, the United States, Japan and Canada agreed at the start of the G7 summit on Sunday that they would ban imports of newly mined or refined Russian gold, while the European Union expressed some reservations. China's Commerce Ministry said on Tuesday it would extend anti-dumping tariffs on certain steel fasteners imported from the European Union and United Kingdom for five years. The anti-dumping tariffs will be imposed from June 29, the ministry said in a statement. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Malaysian authorities on Tuesday called on palm oil millers to resume production and buy oil palm fruits from farmers after a plunge in prices of the edible oil prompted some companies to halt processing. Unprofitable pricing meant some mills in Malaysia, the world's second-largest palm oil producer, had temporarily halted operations, an industry body said on Monday. Malaysian crude palm oil futures posted their biggest one-month decline in more than 13 years in June, recording a 22% drop and erasing most of this year's gains. Prices had rallied to a record high earlier in 2022 due to supply concerns. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates.
We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Tradeflow News which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.